Hey everyone, Pose of the Week, thanks for joining me. This is Hanumanasana and Sarah and Annette have both requested it so I thought Psh, I better do it. So in this posture, I love this posture but I know that a lot of people are reaching for it and they think it's about flexibility. This is really a strength pose and it must be a strength pose because if it's not and you are at the very, very extreme end of the range of motion, which you are in this pose, you need to own that. This is very important. Do not go there before you can own it. So you have to get strong first. So here's, here's a little lead up to Hanumanasana that may help you get there. Palms on the blocks. So here's what I'll recommend. It's a fun little practice taking one foot at a time through. I'm staying up tall, I'm actually strengthening my upper body at the same time. And look at my front foot. I'm keeping my toes super active, pulling my kneecap up toward hip. I'm actually kind of dragging my heel toward me. And then my back toes are strongly tucking toward my knee so that I've got lots of strength happening in my back leg. Now look what I'm gonna do, I'm pulling up through my belly and stepping through. And then I'll come through on the other side. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm energizing through my legs super strongly and then gather through the pelvic floor and I'm lifting and stepping back. So this is great. You can do about 10 repetitions of these. This would get your legs very nicely warmed up and you are strengthening at the same time. So I'm gonna do this a little bit faster than I ordinarily would do in my own practice. But there's many, many parts of this that are starting to prepare you for Hanumanasana. When you eventually do want to stop, uh, you're very warm and start exploring down, then of course just take one of the blocks and sit on it. You're still pulling both legs into center. This is what I mean by owning this posture. I don't want to get here passively or just by you know, pressing my weight into the ground or anything like that because how am I gonna get out of this pose? So you want to eventually work your way down till you are in the, in the full iteration of the pose. I'm still pulling this leg in because I want my hip to go back. I'm using my back toes to send my other hip forward. So I'm trying to square my hips. I am super active. Look at, I can actually lift myself out of this pose. So that's where I want to be. And I want my core to be super strong so that when it's time to come out of the pose, I can step out of it. So that is where we need to be strong. So if you're using the blocks, it's going to help you with all of those pieces. Never thinking about the block as sort of a crutch. It's not a crutch. You're actively moving in a particular direction. And it's always best to do it strength first. Oftentimes we are associating strength with tightness. That is just not the case. Your body is willing to open when it feels secure and stable. So, I don't know, Sarah, Annette, give it a try. Let me know how it goes. All right, thanks so much. Bye for now.